Hey y'all, new day, new chance to gather together. I just wanted to toss out this front loaded that, you know, I'm a layman with all this stuff and happily admit as such. You know, go dig into the text, dig into the Bible, look at things like the uh, the Blue Letter Bible, Bible Project, uh, so many different apps, so many different places, opportunities that you can gather from people who have professional degrees in this stuff. I'm sharing my story when I go through these. My aim is not to try and be a sage on the stage. This is an invitation to digging into the walk together. You know, when I, I dig through these words and I look at the poetry and I try to remember it as such, I... My aim isn't to try and persuade. It's to invite to walk along with. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Probably more than I can remember, and definitely more than I can count. I used to make the joke that I violated all 613 laws of Torah in triplicate, and I... I use humor for a reason. When I go at these texts, when I go at life, when I do anything that I do, I come at it from an understanding that I can't judge anyone because I know what I've done. I have no high horse to stand on because if we go by Jesus' standard of what's in the heart, Mao Sang Dong and a couple others would make real good company for what was in my heart in my youth. And I have made plenty of other mistakes too. I've gone from trying to follow the God of the Bible all the way through necromancy and everything in between. Because I was seeking for truth, and everywhere I turned, I wasn't getting an actual straight answer. I was getting more and more religion, and it was just driving me nuts. And it's part of why I started this channel in the first place. Because back in 2016, when it was, oh, Trump this, or Hillary that, and angry this, and angry that, it just confused the hell out of me. Because I, I thought our Bible, I thought this text, I thought our king said to love others as we are loved by the God who dies in our place. And so I failed to understand how people who claim to be of the same body could hate each other over what animal is on the color of flat, you know, oh, oh, they follow an elephant, oh, they follow a, a donkey. That's idol worship, mate. It's literally worshiping an elephant or a donkey. Sorry, dogs are going off because <laughs> one decided to go outside and the other one in, so they're barking at each other. But anyway, I <laughs> partially have left off. For one. I, I've gone through it and messed up a lot of things. Like, this isn't a sage on the stage, oh, look at me, do it the perfect right way, in any way, shape, or form. This is, hey, I, I've made probably... I'm not going to say every stupid decision that could be made, because that was a log that would be a logical fallacy on the upside and on the downside seems almost like tempting fate to borrow a, an idiom. Again, borrowing an idiom. So I, I'm not going to say I've made every mistake. I, I can say I've experienced enough stories that when I interact with people, I can usually vibe where they are. And if not... I've run parallel enough that I can see them where they are. And it's nothing I've done. It's purely by God's grace. It's purely by the work of his hand. There is nothing in me that sets me apart except for God himself. And I'm perfectly happy being in the back of the room because, hey, I'm just happy to be there. I'm just happy to be here. The point of this channel isn't to try and direct lives. The point of this channel is to offer a story of saying, hey, if you've ever wondered about the God of the Bible and thought the religion and the actual people who seem to follow him are completely different and it's kind of confusing how they're not the same, then let's dig into it. I mean, the the D in the learning, or the, the L in the, the yeah, the, the learning life, it's, it's a Ralph Wiggum joke because I've made those kind of decisions. I mean, it, it comes from the idea of, uh, I'm in danger. At least Ralph is self-aware enough to know when he's in the thicket. We don't always are. I know for myself, I wasn't always. So, I, I welcome everyone to come alongside and let's have these conversations. Let's have it out on any discussion. And not like a have it out, but like a let's have it out. 
Let's have a conversation. Let's have that metaphorical meal, if you will. Because the ancient world way of doing it and the schools of thought that I always found most interesting, whether it be Hellenistic, Greek, or the Judaic, was less a, I'm standing up here because I'm right, and more a, hey, there are a bunch of us here. Let's talk it out. That's why I like the expression, ask five rabbis about what it in a verse means and come out with ten interpretations. Because it's not about who's right. Only God is right. It's not about who's good. Only God is good. Jesus himself said that. And sorry if that seems like trying to use the text as a justification for itself. It's simply acknowledging that the point isn't about how good we are, how right we are, how etc. we are. It's about getting made right with God. That righteousness, right? Right relationship? That justice, that beautiful thing, all of it interconnected to loving others as we are loved. And that's all I hope to offer and share with this channel. Is digging into the word, digging into those stories, and digging into those places where I haven't always loved others. But God has loved me anyway. Where I have been anything but good. And he has been nothing but kind. That's my story. And I invite you to come along as we watch God pull Adam out of the marble, Eve out of the clay. As he refines us, as we seek him. But did he not say, seek? and you shall find. Ask, and you shall answer. Or, yeah, ask, and you shall receive, rather. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened. The idea of answer popped in there because he showed me not necessarily the answers to the questions I've had, but the answers to better questions I didn't even know were out there. I hope that helps. May his favor be upon you. Know that you're loved. I'll see you then.